12 regional countries meet in Dominica to strategize a way forward for early childhood education. The Irish Potato Program is extended to additional communities and GIS explores more ongoing developments in the Lapland constituency. Thank you for joining us on another edition of National Focus. I'm Mervyn Mafia. And I'm Jana Hector. Stay with us for details of the headline stories and others after the break. If you can believe this. Come by my house and let me show you some movies. Why can't you believe this? Some mothers don't believe their own children when they say they've been sexually abused and they don't report it. Remember, if anyone asks to see or touch their private parts, touches them inappropriately, shows them or forces them to touch one's private parts, has sex with them, shows them pornographic material, or deliberately lets them hear or see the act of sex, then it is sexual abuse. Believe your child and report the sexual abuse. For more information about child abuse, contact these agencies. This message brought to you by UNICEF and this station. Thanks for staying with us. The Ministry of Agriculture is encouraged by farmers' interest in the Irish Potato Program now being implemented on various farms across the country. In November 2013, a 40-foot container containing 1,080 50-kilogram bags of white potato seeds arrived on the island for sale to farmers. Austin Bell, team leader of the South Agricultural Region, said on Tuesday that farmers have been purchasing the seeds from the Division of Agriculture. He added that farmers are actively involved in plowing at this time. I think we have been going reasonably well. Um, currently, the fields have been plowed. We, we, we do have um, some, some um, uh, machines. We have tillers and the, and the, and, and the, and the tractor. So we, we, we think that in, in terms of, of, um, of um, plowing that is available at the moment. We have been doing plowing in areas as Mont Prosper, Girodel, and we are now, doing, we are now um, starting some work in, in, in Belleville Chopin. And um, I think the plowing is doing very, 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 very well. I think any farmer who, who plants to plant any significant amount of potatoes, I think it would, be a, it would cost a lot less to have the machines to do the plowing. And um, that is going to be done at a small fee. And um, we think that is working very reasonably. In an attempt to increase the number of Irish potato farms on the island, Bell explains that the Irish potato program has been introduced to non-traditional communities such as Cochrane and the Kalinago Territory. Besides the, the, the traditional areas now, we, we are entering into areas such as Cochrane, where it has been, been done. We have also su supplied quite a few bags in the, in the, in the, in the Kalinago um, area. And um, there are some other pockets that we are also looking at. So we, we believe that um, for Irish body to, to expand and grow, we need to go beyond those traditional areas where it is grown. Bell is encouraging other farmers with an interest in growing Irish potatoes to contact the Division of Agriculture for planting material which is being sold at $80 per 55-pound bag. We are encouraging f um, the, the people who feel that they have very good soils for potatoes in other parts of the island that they could still make um, contact. The seeds are still, av still available at the Botanic Gardens. They have been going but we want them to go a bit um, quicker and the seeds are still in very good condition. So we're encouraging the farmers feel free to make contact with us and um, we still have seeds that are available for sale. The Division of Agriculture is specifically targeting farmers located in semi-dry areas that are 1,000 feet above sea level, including Grand Four, Penville, Woodford Hill and Castlebrus, to invest in Irish potatoes. 
In other news, eradicating criminal activity in Portsmouth is the focus of collaborative efforts by the clergy and the Dominica Police Force as they embark on round two of activities to raise awareness of the problem. Organizers first held a prayer vigil following the news of two recent deaths in Portsmouth. Now, Father Herman Shapley says it's time to be offensive. This Friday, December 13th, the Dominica Police Force will broadcast its regular On the Beat program live from the Roman Catholic Church in Portsmouth. The plan is to encourage members of the public to be forthcoming with information concerning criminal activity. Officials believe that criminals can be flushed out if the public acknowledges its responsibility in the process. Father Herman Shapley gave details on Wednesday. The program theme is the public responsibility to crime to solving crime. The theme is necessary because the public does have a responsibility in informing the relevant authorities or the security forces in terms of where the criminals are, what they are doing, and how they can be found out. And the information is with the public. And so this advocacy program aims to sensitize, encourage, and empower people to come out there and talk. Top police force officials, religious figures, and the constituency's parliamentary representative, Honorable Ian Douglas, will be in attendance. We are making an appeal to the entire Portsmouth public and surrounding villages and areas to come to that church hall at 7 p.m. to hear. To, to, to discuss and to make comments and suggestions as to how we can or what can we do as a community because crime does affect everybody. Crime is not only the people who die. Crime is the people who are left to mourn their death and, and, and therefore we need to come forward. We need to talk. We need to, 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 to be more on the offensive because the more people do not talk, the more people keep the information them, to themselves, the more people keep their mouth shut then the criminals are on the offensive and we become on the defensive. We have to be on the defensive, on the um, offensive in that situation. And the only way we can do that is by pulling our resources together, coming together, discussing the matter and looking at ways and means of resolving it. And of course, one of the ways we can do that is by reporting all the criminals and all the crimes that we see in our society. The public is reminded that since the establishment of the tip line 1-800-HINT, it has become much easier to report criminal activity. Organizers say residents should see activities like these as a way of making their own contributions to a safer society. The development of early childhood education in the Eastern Caribbean continues to take center stage as regional consultations are held to improve the quality of education delivered to the region's youth. The governments of the Eastern Caribbean, as well as UNICEF, have collaborated for a program review and strategic planning meeting for early childhood development coordinators. The two-day meeting commenced on Wednesday at the Gary Hotel. The main goal is to review the progress made so far in the implementation of activities geared towards achieving the Intermediate Result 2.1 of the multi-country program. The Intermediate Result 2.1 states that by 2016, girls and boys aged 0 to 5 years old living in households in the poorest communities in the Caribbean countries, including Dominica, can have access to quality developmental education services. In addressing the opening ceremony, Minister for Education, Honorable Peter Seja, spoke of the number of investments made in this regard to ensure that Dominica reaches the goal of providing quality early childhood education in every community. The minister highlighted the installment of five new community preschools as government continues to ensure that the goal of universal preschool education is achieved. He says government is also responsible for paying the salaries of new preschool teachers. A subvention is also paid to preschools where the quality of education provided meets standards set by the Ministry of Education. Although the minister said a lot has been done so far, he insists that much more needs to be achieved in Dominica. The embarking on us, the second phase of universal access to early childhood development which is to increase access for our children between zero and three years. The finalization of the early childhood development policy, continuous training 
for our early childhood education practitioners and completing the bottleneck analysis and reviewing of our education system. Honorable Serge expressed gratitude to UNICEF for the opportunity to review plans previously put forward and for their invaluable support to education in the Eastern Caribbean. Dr. Francis Sever, director of UE Open Campus, also spoke at the opening ceremony. He highlighted UE's early childhood care and education program, which aims to provide early childhood educators with the necessary tools for the development of appropriate practices for early childhood education. Preschool teachers who were students of the ECCE have been able to benefit tremendously from the program. Mrs. Leandra Simon, teacher at the Massac Preschool, who was then enrolled in the program in Dominica for teachers, said that the course or the courses helped her in the day-to-day -day operations at her school. She added, and I quote, the ECCE program at the UE Open Campus has helped me in planning the lessons that are appropriate for the children's development. It has helped me to learn to deal with the different paces at which children learn. I especially liked the special education module because I hope to continue in that area in the future." Unquote. UNICEF's Chief of Education for the Eastern Caribbean, Dr. Wycliffe Otieno, clarified the goals of the meeting, saying that the purpose was, firstly, to take stock of what has been done in the last two years and to map out what has worked and not worked and secondly, to define a strategic direction beginning next year. The 12 islands have convened so that each can report on their status in early childhood education and come to a common understanding of their priorities and action plan until 2016. And that's the English segment of the news. Mark for St. Louis is next with the Creole Highlights. Hello, tout moon. Bienvenue à ce nouvel Creole. Non moins, c'est McPherson St. Louis. Premièrement, en consultation qui a mis attention à ces éducations et puis développement des enfants, quand on place en Dominique pour deux jours semaine cela. Plusieurs participants pays OECS, Belize et puis Babad, quand attendent des consultations là, qui a pour place en hôtel Garaway en Wazo. Ministre éducation honorable Peter Saint Jean délivre quoi la douce pour ouvrir consultation là. Y a que mettez en plan pour dire nous comment nous ni pour continuer avec développement en développement en early childhood development development pour ces années qui va venir. Mais malou tu t'as plus de temps comme ça. Et well ma chacun pays ni ça nous ca couyer un country plan. Ça c'est un plan la chaque pays ca mettre attention à les développements enfants qui en l'école et aussi en décaire à chacun pays qui séparé plan yo avec yon et l'autre et yo qui pense plan ça yo yo qui garder là nous pas fait j'ai bien là nous on doit augmenter plan et nous qui mettre ça à dans grand plan pour rejoindre et chacun pays qui prend mon soir qui yo supposé travailler sur et travailler dans en ces années qui va venir en la nouvelle, le gouvernement Dominique fait une donation de 7 000 dollars la genou pour continuer le travail à ces occasions de sport à grand fond. Même parlement, honorable Ivo Stevenson, ensemble et puis ministre de sport, honorable Justina Charles, qui est un grand fond, lady, où il a fait une présentation de l'argent là la village de la communauté. L'argent là qui est dépensé pour excavation, lié et puis dressé l'occasion là, et puis aussi pour planter zèbre. Ça a fait quatre fois que le gouvernement a mis l'argent en France et Salam, qui a fait totalement 10 000 millions de dollars. Chair Preston Village Council, Joyce Pascal, a accepté l'argent là et puis un bon compliment à le gouvernement pour donner cela. Contractor Fooding and Greenaway fait parole que le projet là qui a en quatre semaines encore. Même parlement honorable Ivo Stevenson, bien plaisir que le gouvernement fait l'argent là possible et aussi créer à ce monde grand fonds pour protéger et faciliter cela. Ministre Sport, Honorable Justin Charles, fait parole que le gouvernement a battu facilité sport tout le monde et le fond. C'est Yon Dio. À la nouvelle, bagaille traditionnelle, on hike et puis si on 
qu'a formé par activité pour célébration pour anniversaire groupe culture Pébouche. Mademoiselle Roselyne Paul, c'est président du groupe culturel Salah. Il va nous dire nous qu'ni nous qu'ni game joie traditionnelle à ring game à balalin là et ve jeune monde enfants grand monde nous samedi aussi qu'ni on on hike le 11 décembre c'est Will Mountain Day aussi so nous qu'ni on hike il y a photographie compétition. Je ne sais pas si ça a monté le monde là, monté à ces trois, à moi, je suis allé à l'élever pour Portoué. Moutain, pour Portoué, Belté Dominique, Belté Pébouche. Nous avons dimanche, nous avons Music Lovers Band, et Caroline, Bord la Ouila, Bord Marie Square, Bord Toisé. Nous kenny aussi on simen Caroline et vers le vendredi nous kenny en guan sirenal ou la mon kenny yo savi ni en pyjama yo yo savi ni en vie costume yo savi ni en house coat yo am vini fe pyjama parce que sirenal c'était un bagay traditionnel le mon le noël et puis finalement ministre péché honorable docteur Kenny Daru qui a complimenté division péché pour organiser spectacle préparation poisson qui prend place en Dominique semaine passée. Ministre Daru a un compliment cela en cérémonie pour te faire un spectacle. Et on sait qu'il a compliment des divisions pêcheurs pour d'autres travaux qui ont engagé en dedans. Ministre Daru dit que le gouvernement Dominique continue de travailler bien formidable à de manière avancée et industrielle. Zephra Baron a fait un Jean gagné comme ministre de l'Homme pendant que Jean-Nilia Lestrade a fait un Paul sur le deuxième et puis Vouline Maxime a fait David sorti en troisième position. Mais c'est madame, ça c'est tout pour nous faire la créole pour à présent. Non, moi c'est Marc Fossil Saint-Lous, qui a souhaité tout le monde en bon saison Noël. Au revoir. How to get the most out of a Christmas holiday, coming up next. Do you have uncovered water storage drums around your home? Do you dispose of old tires, cans and old containers capable of holding water anywhere in your environment? Are you being bitten by mosquitoes, particularly at dusk and early morning? Do you keep houseplants in water? Do you spend your hard-earned cash to control mosquitoes? Has your community experienced dengue fever outbreaks? If your answer is yes to at least three questions above, you are at risk to dengue fever. Join the fight against dengue fever. The responsibility for a dengue-free Dominica lies with you. So. Get rid of the Aedes aegypti mosquito. mosquito. Instead of the usual rituals, do something different this Christmas. Although most people associate certain activities with Christmas, it's okay to break out of the mold and create all new traditions for yourself or for your family. Christmas will still come around next year if you don't overspend on Christmas Eve or if you don't attend any parties or dinners. By doing things you actually enjoy and want to do, you'll be getting more out of your holiday. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and your comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website news.gov.dm. Friend us on our Facebook page and be sure to like our GIS Dominica fan page. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. On behalf of the entire news production team, I'm Moving Mafia. And I'm Jana Hector. Thank you for watching. <laughs>